What's up guys, Coda Rare TV back at again with another video. So today we're in Houseman's Diesel Performance over in Lawrence, New York. He let me uh, come over, Cooter works here, and we're working on the sled. We're putting the DuraPro tether on, uh, magnet, magnetic tether. So Let's see what she got in here. It looks like they set you up with a sticker. You gonna throw that on the sled or what? Yeah, we'll throw a sticker on. So we're gonna have the sticker. It comes with the DuraPro Magnetic tether snaps on and off really easy. And then we got the nice clip for nice carabiner clip when you got your gloves on. Go on your go on your coat for your clip. So we're gonna install this. So basically, we're the first couple steps for it. We have the clip right here. We're gonna take that off the backing because that's gonna be your backing nut to go on when we install it. Uh, you're gonna want a one. You're gonna want a one inch uh, drill bit and we're gonna drill up in about here is where we're probably gonna thinking to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are, we're gonna take the side panels off. You're gonna do your clips. You got two clips up top, take that off. And then you can, you don't have to, uh, you can take the hood off, but it's a lot easier. You have your pins. We're gonna take that off. And I already disconnected the wiring harness. You gotta make sure when you pull it off, make sure you disconnect your harness for your headlight assembly key and all that. Once you do that, next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pulling off these pins. So we got one here. And you got your clutch tool here. And here you got your clutch tool we gotta to pull off also. Got my personal mechanic over here, Cooter. Yeah. Once you pop that off, there's also another one down here. We got another one down on the lower side. So once we pop that off, now the whole piece will pop up like this. So we're gonna end up drilling right here, uh, one inch diameter hole where the DuraPro tether is gonna be going in. Just make sure when we do it, he's gonna put his hand behind, make sure we're not into any of the wires or anything back here. Fuel tank, fuel tank, or anything like that. So he's gonna drill that. We're gonna use a step bit. And go up to one inch and uh go from there it all works We got the hole drilled. We're gonna stick it through. Boom. Yep. It's gonna have to be a little bit wider. We didn't get it fully into the one inch yet. Yeah, we'd rather go a little small and too big, you can't go backwards. So we're gonna drill it a little bit more. Now it looks like that should be about one inch. We're gonna put it through now. We've been playing with sleds all day. There's one of them. Old sled. Need... Should be a tight fit. Snap yep. right in there. Nice tight fit. So now we're gonna have that backing nut that we took off when we first started. You gonna thread that. Thread it up the... through. And thread it up. There's like a flange on the nut. You want that up towards the towards the tether. Get that started and we'll grab ourselves a wrench and there's some foam here that makes it a little tricky, but once you get her started, she should go. There she is. Get ourselves a wrench. Get a wrench and tighten her up. So while he grabs the wrench, another thing that we're gonna be doing, so after we install this, stay tuned for a little bit later in the video, just in case you guys don't know, uh, we're also gonna switch my stance from the 41 inch stance down to the 39 inch stance. Uh, basically, your outside nuts, we're gonna pull it out and then we're gonna go on the inside, pulling the ski inside. So stay tuned for that, I'll show you how to do that. If you don't know, uh, something quick, simple, easy, and that's how you're gonna adjust this RMK. Now he's got a wrench, we're gonna tighten her down. You know, it's really nice having my own personal mechanic. I, I take him around more often. Old trip paid to Maine, bud? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's, a, it's a quite an expensive trip, bud. 
All right. All right, so now after we do that, we got that in, we're gonna get into there's this, the bag right here, and that's gonna have all your wire connections and everything in it. The one we're gonna be looking for is gonna have a cap on the end. Usually underneath here. I think it's, it's this, this one, one right here. Yeah. Pull that off, throw that in the trash. You don't <laughs> yeah. need that shit anymore. Pop her on. Snaps right in there. So now what we'll do is tidy we'll tidy this up. Once we tidy it up, we're gonna fire it up and make sure that the uh, we should works. actually fire it before. Yeah. Snap that on. All right, Cooter, pull her over. I don't know if I can. It's eight fifty. She got some more power to her. All right, Cooter, fire her up, and uh, we'll see if it works. There she is, Ron. And there you go. Shuts her off. And look at that. Just quick, put it right back on. Nice magnetic tether. Perfect. Now we can tidy everything up and put her back together. Put the wiring back in. And then also what we're gonna do too is they give you a zip tie in the in the uh, package for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip tie the end back up into the cables, the wiring. Zip tie it all up nice in. Yeah. And there's a zip tie. And when you update your sled, next year you get a snow check a new one, you can take this out of it and put it on the next sled. Plug and play. Nice, easy, quick. And then we're just gonna put it back in, put it underneath. Put your two push pins back in. One down there. There you go that time. Yep. There you go. You're gonna put the top one in. Nice and simple. Push it back in, and then we're gonna come back down, pop these together, and then put your clutch tool back in. They just come apart like that. And it's that simple. It's a, It's really just that simple. We got that in. Uh, so now the next five minutes. Yeah, five minutes max is all it's gonna take. So the next thing we're gonna do, like I said. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna get, uh, take off the bolt out, and we're gonna move the two bushings over to the other side, making it so the skis go in for the 39 inch setting. All right, so now we're gonna come down here and it's a 15 millimeter socket. washer so we're just going to take the bolt right out once that bolt comes out we're going to pull it off and pull those bushings right off push it over now it's on that side you put your two bushings and it's going to move that ski in put it back through make sure you have your washer washer on the back side with your nut Simple as that. And he's gonna torque it on there for me. And then we'll do the next one. Hold on. Turn it off. Pop it out. Take the bushing off. Slide it over. There's two. You could. Yeah, you could. So you could basically, center them. you can center it if you want. So I'm electing to go to the narrowest setting, which is 39 inches. What you can do, like he said, is you can pull it off, push it over, and you can center it. So you can go to 40 inches, and you can have a bushing on both sides. So I'm going to go narrowest, but you could essentially go from 41 to 40, and if you didn't like 40, then you could go to 39. Put the other one back through. Put your nut and washer back on. For a nice torque. Boom. Like that. 
I think that's the easiest set of skis I've ever swapped. Like that. Yeah, that's super easy. So as you can see, it's just that easy how to swap over the skis from a larger setting down to a narrower setting. Uh, it sucks because the assault, you would think you'd be able to do it with the assault, but unfortunately, the assault, those bu bushings on the assault. Let's see, we got Cooter's assault over here. We can look at it. So he has a one bushing right here, but unfortunately, that's a fixed bushing. And even with the same with the 2021 model that I had last year, it was a fixed bushing. So you can't actually go and adjust from side to side, which kind of sucks. I think the Assault is already really high up there in like a, uh, a crossover category, but unfortunately, because it has that, you can't adjust your setting because the Assault is 42 inches wide. I think it's 42 and a half inches wide on the Assault, which I really wish that you could do like that. You could swap two inches. So from 40 and a half to 42 and a half would be awesome if you could do that. So I'm not 100% sure. I gotta double check when I get home, but I thought when I looked online, it was 41 inches widest setting, 39 inches narrowest setting but it quite possibly could be 39 inches widest setting with 37 inches shortest. I just have to double check when I get home. So as you can see guys, it was that easy. It took us five minutes to install the tether and another three minutes to make the sled narrower. It's just that simple. I got my own personal mechanic over there, Cooter. Appreciate the help, bud. Yeah, bud, can't wait to go to Maine. We got, we got Maine in I think three days we're leaving. Uh, the time this video comes up, I'm not sure. We might already be in Maine. Uh, just depends when I get this edited for you guys, but uh, we can't wait. He's gonna be riding the assault with the two inch log. I have the new RMK Chaos 850 2020 with the 2.6 inch log track. Uh, we can't wait. So we're gonna be heading there soon. Like I said, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video today. I appreciate it, guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.